Yeah, everything that's in this cabinet here. Well, I took I, I took Lee's old uh, computer desk and I turned it into a cabinet, so it turned out really good. But <laughs> yeah, everything that's right in here, uh, it, it, this controls the HDMI throughout the entire house. So if I want to watch this upstairs in the kitchen, I can. It's pretty. Elevated uh, chairs. Oh, this? Yeah, this couch right here. I took a uh, two by eight and I built a frame, and then I bolted it directly onto it. Um, the coating that's on that oh, yeah. is a belt <laughs> that I actually got from the Harkins Theater that was right up on Mill, you know, that became Madcap. Mm -hmm. Well, that theater, when it was getting torn down, one of my buddies, Dustin, he actually uh, said, hey, would you guys like uh, to come over? I mean, we've already abandoned it. I got the keys. You guys want any parts or anything they left behind? Come on over. So <laughs> Um, yeah. Let's look. No bills. <laughs> so we get there, and the um, I get there, and the curtains are still up and everything. But of course, there's a big X through all of the screens. And one of the reasons that they put a big, they slash the screens in big X is because the speakers are behind them. And if you ever look at the screens for it, there's these little teeny tiny dots all over the screen when you get that close. Right? If you ever go to the movie theater and get really close to the screen, you'll, you'll see the little dots. That's so that the sound can come through. Then, um, so I looked at it, and I looked at these row bench rows of benches out there. And I'm like, that's cool, but I'm not going to take a seat. But I'm like, I want this curtain material. So I started yanking on it, yanking on it. I'm like, it's really in there. And then all of a sudden I got the idea. I grabbed it like this, and I took a running leap, and I went over the first three or four rows of seats. <laughs> I was like, how many people can say they did that? That was so much fun. Did it come out? Eventually, I got it torn up. Yes. Okay. It, it took a lot of time. It took a lot of times in <laughs> But, uh, yeah, but the felt that goes around the screen is actually what's covering that. I just wanted, you know, it's kind of, kind of gives a little bit of history. Mine neither. So, I mean, I put together the false walls in there, so I put shelves in between them. Nice. So shiny. I like building things. Was this, this was the whole basement? I mean, the basement was just a house, obviously, right? Yeah, the basement. Well, the basement, the house originally was 1,200 and some odd square feet, and it only went out to uh, the bar. And then, in, and it was uh, like early to mid 70s. And then, what they did was they actually went ahead and built an expansion, and instead of just coming out, they went down as well. So this is not under the original slab. So this is all um, subflooring above. So. You know, because of the basement, but it, it's a fully, um, it, it's a fully livable basement. So code says that there has to be um, stairs, or I'm sorry, a ladder. So in that window and on the other side, in that window, there's a ladder that goes, the escape ladder in case there's a fire. So interesting stuff. Uh, the other side, I like this. This is one of the first rooms.
I'm your host, Cookie, and in case of an emergency, your seat may or may not double as a flotation device. Two players it is, and here I am, yapping. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience people can play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your made-up answer. And you get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Select the category. Okay, here's your first question. If a pooter were used for its intended purpose, someone would suck on that pooter in order to blank. Now use your device to type a lie that might fool your opponent into believing it. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and touch it on your device. selected. That was a complete whiff. It's a hose used by entomologists to trap bugs with a vacuum created by their mouths, or so they say. And let's put this last one out of its misery. Celebrity quotes of great importance. Celebrity quotes of great importance. 9.56 a.m., the 11th of October, 2014. At Schwarzenegger tweeted, It's true, I love blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? Well, don't you feel foolish? 
or as they're called in his native Austria, Selbstenfotomeinkapfenstiel. And just one lie goes unpicked. fertilizing your garden that much easier. And that means... Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it round two or lose it. All right, take the category. No, 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 that's okay. I got it. Okay, here's the question. A seven-year-old boy from Maryland was suspended from school for two days after biting his breakfast pastry into the shape of blank. Input your lies now. in Dorset, England, auctioned off something rather unusual, Winston Churchill's blank. Enter your lies now. Okay. 
Okay, take a look and find the truth. said blank write your lies now
to Fibbage. My name is Cookie, and we know you could be playing Hungry Hungry Hippos right now, so thanks for choosing us. Three players, it's anybody's game. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lives. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you get 1,000 for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Time to pick the category. Okay, here's your first question. Former Red Sox pitcher Pedro Martinez claimed that in 2004, teammate Manny Ramirez once pranked his teammates by putting blank in their drinks. Type in your lives now. Okay, which one's the truth? See what everybody selected. And it was also. Hmm, kind of spooky. something you might be interested in. During the seventh inning stretch, all of the players remained conspicuously seated. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. In June of 2010, a student in Germany had the audacity to drive up to his local Hells Angels clubhouse where he proceeded to drop his shorts and throw blank at the members. Enter your lies now. Find the truth. Who picked the watch? Well, I'll be done. That's not even a full story. The nude puppy throwing man then escaped the scene on a bulldozer. Can you believe that? He stole a bulldozer. And we'll just leave this last lie to die. Alright, take the category. Okay, 
you can't really take a road there, but let's go anyway. Let's take a road trip. Next time you're near Susami Bay in Japan, take a dive 10 meters beneath the water's surface and check out the world's deepest underwater blank. Write your eyes now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. teaching him to keep his seven other tentacles out of the shot. And that means this lie didn't get picked. The cologne is called blank. Enter your lies now.
away, take a look and find the truth. about the time a loved one died. And that's it. found her wedding ring hiding on a blank. Type in your lies now. selected. You all nailed it. No women, they'll do anything to get an extra carrot on their diamond. And nobody picked the other eyes up there. Century. Right to rise now.
satisfied with my service today, please consider filling out a customer satisfaction card. Seven players. One more than a three-on-three -three sumo wrestling match. Exciting. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score, and you can like your favorite lives. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool, and you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a helper, the defibrillator. It eliminates all but one lie. Only one use per game, so use it wisely. Select the category. Okay, here's your first question. We are safer than ever because the United States' largest nuclear storehouse near Seattle is guarded in part by 85 blank. Input your lies now.
asking $200,000 along with another woman, so they ended up paying $400,000 total for the three-way date. Look, we could make this stuff up, but uh, apparently we don't have to. And we're done. <laughs> it just stood out to me. It was like the oddest one. Yay! Alright, make the category. This is uh, Loki, right? Okay, here's the question. A study of 4,600 people by the online dating service Scout found that strangely people who blank have more sex than people who don't. Enter your lies now. describe a surprising sexual situation. The two-word title of the piece is blank. Input your lies now. Really? Yeah. 
State University psychology professor blank as a group of people are extremely happy with their lives. Write your lies now. Welcome to the 
the final pivot. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. And now, your final fibbage question. The name of the real company that will, for only $9.99, mail a potato to someone for you. And yes, they mail the potato without any packaging, just stamps on a potato. Enter your lies now.